What's going on guys? This is a 2002 F-150. I'm gonna be replacing the ignition switch. It's really easy to get to. You just have to remove this panel here. There's a few seven millimeter screws. I'm gonna start by pulling this uh, fuse cover off. One up under here as well. There's one right there too. This trim has to get peeled away a little bit. I believe there might be a screw up in here. It appears that this little bracket here needs to come out as well. It's held on by eight millimeter screws. I'm just gonna let this go down and out the way. That's the switch right there. Let me get the light on. All right, I'm back. My phone overheated for a bit. So right now we're at the point where we're gonna pull the old switch off. If you can try to do this uh, with the key out of the ignition in position zero, using a seven millimeter to unscrew this connector. As you unscrew it, the connector will slowly back away. Until it gets to a point where you can kind of just grab it and yank it out. Now that that's out of the way, I can go after the two torques. I'm using a T27. I think the correct size is a T30, but I couldn't find mine, so this is gonna have to work. So here's the switch. Whatever position that it was in when you removed it, that should be the position that you install the new one in. Just to make it line up. This is the actual piece that gets uh, moved when you actuate the key. You can see there's a slot on the bottom of the column. And it goes into that slot. Oh yeah, gotta mention this new part came with this adapter plate. There's already an adapter plate on here. 
and I think it's the same. So I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm just gonna bolt up this new part. I'm gonna put the phone down real quick. All right guys, had to put the phone down real quick just to get these bolts threaded back up in there. All right. Now I'm gonna get this connector threaded back on there. You're gonna have to apply some pressure while you're turning the bolt to get it started. All right, so I was fumbling around trying to get this to thread in and it's not working. I think I might have to swap out the gray adapter plate that's on it with the adapter plate that came with it. I think it just pries out. All right, so it breaks. That's how it works. You just break it, guys. I hope this works. All right. All right, so I popped off the old adapter plate. The new one actually wouldn't even fit on. Couldn't get that to click on. So I'm just gonna try to bolt this up without any adapter plate. So far it seems to be going in smoothly. I didn't have to force anything. But I'm definitely gonna test out everything before I put all of these panels back up. So it starts, that's good. All right, everything seems good. All the positions work. So I'm gonna go ahead and bolt everything back up. 